be holding the bands with my other hand. I brought my main a color net. I brought my other little another band. Right. All right, guys. So we're out here doing this little prank right here, man. So you know, we're about to see what's going on. Actually, so I'm actually a part of the the Blizzard Security Patrol. We're actually gonna need you to put your mask up. Since when would you require a mask? I'm just saying, like you know, for like protection for like the lumber and everything. No, no, I'm not calling anything. I'm just writing down some prices. I'm done. I'm almost done, man. But thank you for letting me know. I'm on break right now. It just got off the site right now. So we're trying to build like this little platform. We're looking like for different four by fours. So we need like these little four by four things going on for the corners. Yeah. And um, do you guys have any of those like over here in this aisle? Uh, I haven't been to this Home Depot before. I usually normally go to Lowe's, but four by four. It's kind of far out. Four by four by what? It's like for the. Like, for like the wood yeah for like for the walls we have they, they call it an awning it's kind of like a window awning yeah and we need the four by four planks just for like the corners of that awning for example you got these big thick ones right yeah and then in the middle you have like some skinnier ones yeah we need some smaller ones for these but like kind of like four by fours that's four by four right there mm -hmm. yeah. yeah do you guys have any 10 footers uh yeah right here because it's just like a connector piece that I need, 1473. Yeah. We actually have a supplier for sheet metal. They're closed today, like they're closed like for the, for the week and everything. I don't know what they have going on, but I think they might be going out of business. We have and small, we have small pieces. You guys don't have like the thicker pieces, like galvanized steel or anything like that? Because well, I'm actually trying to build like a, because I just need like some pretty hefty, some thick metal. Because I'm gonna need something that's waterproof. Because I'm actually trying to build like a, something for the house, kind of like a little dungeon, kind of like a man cave. Yeah. Um, you know, getting away from the wife and everything. And <laughs> I'm sure you know about that. So it's like a little dungeon thing where I keep people in like stored inside and they're always asking like for food and water, but you know, no so can do. How big it. of a piece are you looking for? What's the thickest that you guys have in store? Yeah, this is some mighty fine metal right here. So even like, for example, like this installation right here, mm -hmm. do you think I can like conjoin these two together? Because what I'm trying to do, like I said, I'm trying to build like a little dungeon for, yeah. for like cool people and everything. And I don't want those people getting out. Okay, we have galvanized, is that what you wanted? Yeah, just something that's waterproof. I think I'm getting a call from the foreman. Do you copy? Can you actually put your mask on? Is there a problem? Okay. I don't have a mask. Oh, you don't have a mask? No, why? I thought you had one earlier. So I just thought, you know, if you could put it back on again. You no, didn't have one I earlier? never had a mask. I never had a mask. Wait, hold on. What do you mean though? No, I'm talking about like the respirators. Oh, you're not from the site? No. Oh, I just got off the site right now. So Which site? The construction here on the Lawa Road. We're I don't making know what are you talking about. On the Lawa Road, the construction site. You weren't there just now? No. I thought he had a respirator on. What are you talking about? Why would anybody, what is this about? What is what about? Whatever you were asking me. Oh, I'm asking, do you have a respirator on? Like a mask? No. Yes. no. I think I saw him on the camera. Why are you asking me that question? He's asking, why are you asking them that question? Do you have a do you an answer for him? It's just a foreman. He does that sometimes. Do you copy? I think he's in the middle of something right now. In the middle of like matchmaking lobby. Yeah, but uh, if this is a little bit unusual. Like, why would somebody come and ask, did you have a respirator on? Oh, that was his question. That's what I'm asking him, like, why he, why he asked that. Who is he? Who is he, by the way? The foreman, he's basically like the supervisor. The supervising supervisor. <laughs> I, I'm not to be dealing or we're going to throw him out to the door. I only saw him on the camera. He saw on the camera that you had a mask on. Probably you were talking to some other guy. He didn't have one on. Ask him to come here. Ask him to come here. Do you want me to ask my supervising supervisor to come here? Yeah, in case he wants to verify whom he is chasing. I'm going to talk to him now. Mr. Supervising Supervisor, he actually wants to see you right now. Are you in the camera room right now, or where are you right I've been here for a couple of minutes and never saw you with a mask, so that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm standing yeah. in front of the paint guy. It's the camera people. What do you want me to do? Come again? I said, what do you want me to do, Mr. Supervising Supervisor? I check it to put on a mask right now. He said if you could put on a mask right now. Where the fuck? <laughs> Where do I get a mask from? I did not have a mask. Do you have a mask available for him? Like one of those, uh... Wait, what mask are you talking about? Are you talking about Halloween mask? COVID mask? Respirator? What are you talking about? I think he wants to talk to you. Sir. Ask him to come here. Did you hear that, supervising supervisor? Speak to him right now. Speak to him? Okay, I have him right in front of me. Let me just ask him for his consent first. I don't want him to, you know. Do you want to speak to Mr. Supervisor? Why? What, what is this about? Why are you talking to me? He was checking on the cameras. He said you had a mask no, earlier. I'm not talking to you. You don't want to talk to him? No. He doesn't want to talk to you. Uh, I think he's trying to like block you in person, like in real life. You can, you know how you can like block him? He's kind of like doing that right now. Like he, he doesn't want to talk to you. Which mask are you talking about? No, what right is now. this about? Ask him what is this about? So, hey, so what's the big problem? Annoying. So what's the big idea? Halloween mask? COVID mask? What are you talking about? We're gonna have the Apple remote if he doesn't stop playing around. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Who am I? <laughs> here, I have a badge number right here. I'm actually Officer Jonesy from the Glizzy Patrol, badge number 69. Remain silent.
Tell me I can't be smoking out here, it's a violation. You can't be smoking out here? Tell that check, I can be smoking. What are you smoking? Uh, just cigarette. He said it's just a cigarette. It's really a cigarette or or what? I'm gonna take him. Tell that check I can stop smoking. He's gonna get banned from here. He's asking if it's that OG or Cali no, no, exotic. No, 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 it's just cigarette. You can check it. Like, oh, oh, it's not like any of that. Like, no, 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 no. It's not gas? No, no. It's not gas. He says it's pretty mid. Tell that check us to get out of here. Get lost now. He's saying like if I can check you to see if like there's any I have a badge number too. Should I uh, show the badge number like if, if not compliant because he says like he can just stop smoking Yeah, I can stop it. I can throw it Do you want to talk to him? He's actually working at the behind here if you want you can keep hitting it It's fine. Uh, you know as long as like there's no cops around it. I think it's okay. So he wants to talk to you Just say hello to him. Hi Hello, I'll put him on the radio right now. Just talk to him. Hello, sir. Yeah, I can stop it. No, it's just secret. Uh, I can uh, throw it if you say. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, I will not this. I will not do next time. Sorry. Okay, so you're saying he can't stop smoking, or should he keep smoking, or should he stop smoking? Do you know how to use this? It's oh, actually no, my no, first. No, it's no. actually my first I day. Don't I, I don't know why he called me over here. I have a quick question. Just one more question. If it's like that gas, gas, like you know that. If it's not any of the of the boof, like the mid, can he s keep smoking it? If it's like that gas, gas. Yeah, kick him out of the store right now. I think he wants to hit it though. Like if it's that gas. Do you want to hit it, sir, if it's that gas? Also, since like, should I also enforce our mask policy since we have a strict mask policy here? Yeah, tell him to put on a mask right now immediately. He has COVID or what? I don't know. I'll ask him that right now. Thank you, supervisor. You can put a mask on. Yeah, I have that in my car. Yes, there's a mask in the car. Oh, with the police. No, I will stop it, bro. I don't want any issue. Hey, $10,000 fine or give us a... A happy ending in the back of the store. You can give us a happy ending, which I don't know what that is. You can give, he said you can give him the happy ending in his office. I don't know what that is. Uh, sir, what is the happy ending? So I can just explain it to this gentleman. Talk to that jackass right now. Okay, copy. I'll put him on right now. Just give me like two seconds. Yeah, I'm just going, sir. I will not do this again. Sorry. So you're saying you want that happy ending from this young gentleman? Yes. Or I'll $10,000 fine, or we can get the PDA right now down here. So he says he wants a happy ending. But uh, I have to pay $10,000? He said not that anymore. He just wants a happy ending. It's his parking lot. I'm sorry. He owns it. So what, what should I do now? So what should he do right now? Because he's kind of concerned. He just put out his cigarette. Tell him to take off his pants. He said he wants you to take off your pants. So take off your pants. Why? And give him that. Are you going to check him? I'm going to check. I'm going to check him real quick. Yeah, I'm not going to check you. I'm just going to like pat you down just real quick. You? Tell him to do 10 push-ups and we'll forgive him. His office in the back of him. 10 push-ups right now. Hold on, let me just pat you real quick. Arms up, please. For guns, take him for guns. I think I see a gun. Nah, he's good. He's clean. He's clean. He's clean. He's out of gun. He's pulling out of gun. Sir, do you have a gun on you? No. No gun. No gun. I don't see any gun. I do 10, 10 push-ups right now. I'm going to call the police. Are you sure the push-ups? Oh wait, no, no. Actually, jumping jacks. So you don't touch the dirty floor. Can you do jumping jacks? Like, like that? Yeah. yeah. So we're actually going to do 10 jumping jacks because the floor is kind of dirty and I feel bad because he has some nice shoes on and I don't want him to ruin his shoes. Tell him to do 10 push-ups and 10 jumping jacks because I want to check if he's busy or not. If he's been off that weed. Okay. So he's saying basically like he wants to make sure that you're good, you're sober. So can you just start by doing 10 jumping jacks? Like this? Yeah. Just like that. Two, three, four. Five, a six, a seven, a eight, nine, eight, ten. Okay, my boy. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he's good. He's good. He's clean. He's clean. He's pretty sober. I do gym too, man. He says he does gym too. Yeah, like I can tell he's no, he's big body, he's built. Yeah, I see the muscles. I see the muscles. So act like you're shaking salt in your mouth. So he's saying if you can like act like you're shaking salt in your mouth. Yeah, he's good. He's good. No, he's clean. He's good. He's clean. I think we're good, supervisor. All right, tell him to get off. I don't see anything wrong with him. I see no gun. We're good. You can dispatch him. Go ahead and let him go. Gave out like three tickets today. I'll give him a ticket right now. What is he doing? Supervisor, do you want me to talk to him? So what is he doing right there? Acting like a jackass. So basically, my supervisor was just asking like what you were doing. What are you talking about? They're asking what are you talking about? Acting like a jackass. Tell him to stop acting like that. It's not me. It's not it's us. It's not us. Yeah, tell your jack. There is no trouble. I haven't done anything. What's your manager's name? Huh? What's your manager's name? You want my, uh, you want my badge number? Yeah, you work here? No, I actually worked for the parking lot, not Home Depot. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, what's your name? This is his. He's who, do you, who do you work for? Officer Jonesy. 
Yeah. We don't work for our own people. I work for the lot. Just walking around and checking out the cars. Who's your manager at? So who's checking the jack at? Drop of the door piece. Is that dispatch? So what's going on? Filming miners. You said filming miners? Filming no, filming right now. Okay. All right then. You can take it up with the supervisor. Check us to stop filming. He says like, who do you work for? He said Jonesy. Yeah, we They're going to Home Depot. Hey, Brett. All right, guys. So this is actually my badge number right here. Uh, Officer Jonesy from Glizzy Patrol, badge number 69. This is my badge number if you guys want to look me up. Like I said, I showed that guy this badge number right here so he can look me up. This looks exactly like me, and he just got mad. Guys, it's great. 